Hey there everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. In this video, we will be solving the problem count substrings that differ by one character. The problem statement is, we are given two strings S and T. Find the number of ways you can choose a non-empty substring of S and replace a single character by a different character such that resulting substring is a substring of T. In other words, find the number of substrings in S such that they differ from another substring in T exactly by one character. For example, we have computer and computation. In computer, if we take C-O-M-P-U-T-E and in computation, we take C-O-M-P-U-T-A. Here, the difference is only of one character and that is E. So, this is one possible combination. Now, we are given two strings and we have to return such possible combinations. In this case, the answer is 6. In this case, the answer is 3. We can see the explanation as well. So, here we can see uh, we can compare this A with each of these B's and it will be two possible combinations, these two. Then we can compare the AB with this BB. So this will be another combination. So the answer is 3. Now one obvious approach is to generate all the possible substrings of S and all the possible substrings of T, then compare them for the difference of one character and then increment the answer. But it would take a lot of time and the constraints are given as 10 raised to the power 2. So Obviously, it is going to exceed the limits. Now we will see the actual solution to this problem, which I came up in the contest. So let us see the example. Example is ABE and BBC. ABE and BBC. Now what we will be doing is, we will be starting with each position in S. So this is the first position that we will be starting with. Now for each position in S, we will be starting with each position in T. So this is the starting position in T. We are denoting this position by I and this position by J. Now we will be starting from here. Our, we will consider that our substring is starting from here in S and our substring is starting from here in J. Now we will go on. So the substring in S is A, the substring in T is B and we will see if there's any difference and yes it is a difference so we will be incrementing another pointer d which will denote the differences in the substring so the difference is one here now as soon as the substring as soon as the difference is one it satisfies our condition and we should increment our answer so answer will be one now next we will include another character to the substring in s so it will be ab and we will include another character here which is b and we will see the difference is still 1 because there's a difference of A and B and these two characters are the same so the difference in these two substrings is still 1 so we will again increment the answer so our answer will be 2 now then we will go to E and C and we will see that these two characters are different so the difference is now 2 it is E and it is C now the difference is 2 and this doesn't satisfy the condition so as soon as we reach the difference of 2 we are going to break so our answer was 2 now we will be starting with another position in J for the same position in I and we will do the same thing so the first character is A the first character is B and we will compare them so after comparing we will find that there is a difference so the difference is 1 and our answer will be incremented it will be 3 then we will include other characters so E so B will come here and C will come here so the next character is C and again it is a difference so the difference will be 2 now as soon as the difference is 2 we are not going to increment the answer but we will be breaking out of the loop so we will break out of this next we will be starting with the third position in J for the first position in I and we will do the same A and C we will include the next character but there is no next character in T so this is the only uh, possible substring and the difference is 1 so we will increment the answer it will be 4 now we will be starting with the next position in S and we will be starting which, with each position in T. So this is the position we are starting with. Let me erase. So yes. Now this is the first character in S. This is the first character in T. Now these are same. So the difference is 0. When the difference is 0, we are not going to increment the answer because it is not satisfying the condition. The condition is the difference should be 1. Then we will include another uh, another character to this and it will be E and another character to this it will be C. Now the difference is 1. 
and we will increment the answer so it will be 5 then we cannot add anything further in S so we are starting with the third position now now when we are starting with the third position E is a character and we will be starting with the first position in we will be starting with the first position in T so this is J and it will be yeah so B these two are different so the answer will be incremented so the answer will be 6 then E with B again it will be incremented it will be 7 and E with C it will be 8 uh, I think we missed something when we were starting with B so we should be starting from here these two are same then we should not end the loop but instead we should add something so this is one of the possibility and it will be also included in the answer so it will be 9 and similarly E and similarly B with B E and C is another possibility so the answer will be 10 yeah it is 10 for this case so let me go to the coding section and things will become more clear once we start coding it so we are starting with every position in S from i is equal to 0 i is smaller than s dot size and i plus plus for int j is equal to 0 we are starting we are starting with every position in j for every position in i we are going to every position in j j is equal to 0 j is smaller than smaller than t dot size and j plus plus now we are keeping two variables x is equal to i and y is equal to j while x is smaller than s dot size and y is smaller than t dot size we are including characters in the substrings which is formed by s and in the substring which is formed by t so if s of x is not equal to t of y the difference will be incremented so let us take the difference outside and d is equal to 0 let us take the answer also answer is equal to 0 okay if d is equal to 1 then answer will be incremented if d is equal to 2 that means we should not go further and we should break otherwise if d is equal to 0 then we can check further okay and we have to increment x and y and finally we can return the answer so this is what we discussed in the example it is giving us correct answer let us try to run for all the test cases so we got the correct answer there's 0 yeah so it got accepted talking about the time complexity so this loop is big O of n where n is the size of s this loop again is big O of n where big O of m where m is the size of this string t and this loop is again in the worst case is big O of n maximum of n comma m so the total complexity if we consider m and n to be equal the total complexity of the solution is n cube and n is given as 100 so 10 raised to the power 6 which will pass the constraints and we are not using any extra space here so there's a constant space solution uh, if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and we will be uploading the solution to the next question as well which is number of ways to form the target string given dictionary and I don't think we need the solution to the first and the second problem of this contest as they were fairly simple still we will see if we have time we will upload the solution to them as well so yeah if you didn't understand the example you can take a pen and copy and try to do the same thing which I was doing here so that you can get the better clarity of this and 
if you have any other better solution to the same problem you can comment down below I will try to implement that as well I will try to make a video on that solution as well so during the contest I was able to come up only with this one approach so thank you please subscribe to the channel please share it with your friends and please watch the editorials of the next problem as well